Hey Siri, what's the weather like in Minneapolis? It's currently clear and 86 degrees in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Temperatures are heading This down weather is heckin' nice. Look at that sunshine. Let me clean off my lens. This is the Pixel QI display. And we ended up running into some more stock. So we're gonna be selling these for a while until the stock runs out. Uh, we've, I've been using this so much um, over the past couple years that we decided, hey, we're gonna try to get these manufactured on a long-term basis. Um, this is essentially kind of like an E-Ink, except, except for you get a full 60 frames per second here. Let me kind of show you how that works. Um, we'll just scroll through r slash ThinkPad here. And I have Mac OS installed on this. We're not gonna be selling these with Mac OS pre-installed. These are gonna come with either Windows or Linux, up to you. Um, however, if you do wanna go down that pathway, um, there's lots of instructions on how to do so on, uh, on the web. Anyway, let's uh, check out what gaming looks like in direct sunlight. So what are some things to consider before you decide to buy one of these from us? Number one, this is a netbook resolution screen, 600 pixels this way. So in Windows, there might be some dialog boxes that are so tall that you can't even see the buttons. You can hide the start menu to deal with that, but just be aware that this is not a lot of screen real estate. Uh, number two, speakers, not that great. Zero base, mid-range and high-end is okay. I mean, you could do a Zoom call from the beach, that's fine but don't expect uh, to be able to work in a noisy environment. Uh, the webcam, not super high resolution, pretty narrow viewing angle, not the best, but it does work. Um, the battery, we're gonna be installing brand new aftermarket batteries in these. Expect somewhere around the four hour battery life uh, mark. However, it depends on use and which operating system that you have installed. Um, then we'll move to the trackpad and the touch point. So you have two different mouse cursor options and you can two finger scroll on it, you know, that's okay but some people don't like it. And I'm one of those, I've learned to live with it. I, I'll deal with it just so I can do uh, some work outside. Um, the keyboard, freaking amazing. Anybody that loves keyboards loves the X220. Most people anyway. Um, the CPU and the RAM, it's a dual core processor, four threads, plenty of horsepower. It'll blow a Raspberry Pi out of the water any day of the week under pretty much any circumstance. Uh, we're gonna be shipping them with eight gigs of RAM. Uh, you can upgrade it to 16 on your own if you want. It's a pretty easy operation. Um, you can also purchase a docking station for these. So if you want to use this as like with a, two monitors and speakers and everything at your desk, and you can just undock it on the go and you're in portable mode, kind of cool. Another thing is that there is virtualization support. So in hardware, you can put you know VMware on this thing and you know load other operating systems, run them concurrently. It has more than enough horsepower to run Windows, Linux, all at the same time, whatever you want. So anyway... Just wanted to put those points out there just so you know what you're getting into. Thanks for watching.